Hey, what's going on everyone? JSTCG here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. I know it's been a minute, but I've been working a lot and I've been working on getting new cards and updating decks. We're just kind of in a weird format right now. It's a tier zero format, of course. You know, we have Ishizu tier elements running around and I didn't really want to play that deck. And it was hard to decide what deck would be good like going into this tier zero format. Basically anything with D-Shifter is good, but I didn't feel like playing Exosister or something like that. Flu, I really don't like birds. I sold my Flu deck a while ago, but I was thinking about it. And as you guys probably already know, I've played Dragon Link before. It's probably the longest running deck I've had. And I set it aside for Power of the Elements because I wanted to build Sprite and Power of the Elements really crept Dragon Link. But then bam, in the next set, Darkwing Blast, we got the Bestials, which are all dark dragons. They can search dragons. They benefit being in the graveyard. So it was kind of a no-brainer that I wanted to pick these up and put these in Dragon Link. I saw some great lists out there, got some ideas. And the Bestials also are really good against the tier limit matchup or any sort of graveyard-based strategies like that. So after doing some testing and waiting for the Ishizu stuff to come out to kind of see what the meta is looking like, Go figure, it's tier limits everywhere. But, you know, this deck is something you could put up against tier limits and do well. It just kind of depends on how nuts they go. But it's got an okay tier limit matchup. And then, like, if you're going up against a rogue deck or, like, another tier 2 deck, I mean, it's super powerful. You have Boreland, you just have all the advantage and craziness that dragons have. I mean, they're like all extenders, and you can set up a really crazy board, and a lot of decks have a problem with that. And my other reasoning for picking to run this deck for the format is, for the most part, I'm going to be taking this to just, like, locals. So I'm hoping that there will be a variety of decks at locals, not just Ishizu tier. That'd be very sad if that was all I was playing against. Now, you know, if you're going to a bigger event and you're going to be playing eight, nine, ten rounds and it's like all Ishizu tiers, you might want to consider playing something a little bit different. But, you know, I just love dragons and I think there's still going to be other decks running around in the format besides just the Ishizu tier. So I picked this because... It's just got a good matchup against a variety of different things. So let's jump into it. We'll go through the list. In a separate video, I'll do test hands and some combos and show what I've kind of learned so far. Still working on the deck, but I think we're at a really good start so far. So let's jump into it. All right. So for the monsters, starting with the Bistials, I'm playing three Lubelion, three Magma Hut, two Druus Worm, and the one Serenir. Magnemut is like the best one, and it's the most expensive super I've seen in a super long time. It's really nuts. Druus Worm's really good. When it goes to the field to the graveyard, you can target one special summon monster to your opponent controls and send it to the graveyard. And then we have the one Serenir. Basically, you just need the one. You can get the branded regained into the graveyard. All of these cards are really good. They are extenders for the deck. They are DD Crows, and they allow you to play Branded Regained and Branded Beast, which are two really good spell and trap cards. The only problem with this package with Dragon Link that Dragon Link never really seemed to have in the past was bricking. If you open up just like two of these, you can't really do a whole lot. If you have a Lubelion in one of them, then that's a little better. But yeah, I have noticed some bricking with this deck, which is unfortunate because... Um, Dragon Link is just known for like not really bricking. You can always do something even if you end on like a seal savage. Like maybe it's not the full combo, but like yeah, you can always get somewhere. So we're still testing, still working on this. I don't know if this ratio will change up, but for right now this is the Bestia lineup. Then we have our rocket package, which which I think is also pretty standard. This didn't really change up from my previous Dragon Link deck before adding in the bestial so we have double rocket tracer the one recharger the one rocket synchron and then the one absolute router so then next up we have our just normal dragon link stuff that being the three safert we have our black and white dragons here um one noctovision i know some people like to play two i wanted to keep this at an even 40 so i just have the one 
but he's really good. Let's you draw a card, another extender. Uh, and then we have the one Chaos Levineer, and then a one Chaos Emperor Dragon. This card's nuts, and also shout out to Team Sakurasu for hooking me up with this. If you want to check out some awesome market watches, go visit their channel. Thomas is my buddy. He sent this over, and I appreciate it, especially because he knows I'm a Dragon Link fan. So this card's really good. I wasn't playing it at first, but I decided to throw it in, and I don't regret it. You don't really use his monster effect that much, but he is a 3,000 body, so sometimes if you just want to go straight damage, you could bring him out. But his Pendulum effect, you can pay 1,000 life points, then target one of your banished dragons and destroy this card and then add that monster to your hand so he's great for recyclability for the deck and that's it for the monsters all right moving on to the spells you guys already know chaos space this is never gonna change i know it has a secret rare printing now in the new brothers of legend that's coming out so i'll definitely be upgrading these to secrets then of course three quick launch Another crazy card, you guys all know about Quick Launch, not once per turn. If you open up two or you can draw into the second one, it's insane. Then Power Spells, I am playing three Forbidden Droplet and three Triple Tactics. So before the Ishizu stuff came out, I was playing Hand Traps. I was playing, basically it was just three Ash and three Nibiru. I felt like before the Ishizu stuff, hand traps were okay. But now with Ishizu tier running around, I feel like power spells was the way to go. And I think Forbidden Droplet and Triple Tactics are both really good. Tier Lament Shirin and the Ishizu stuff can activate on your turn. So Triple Tactics, I think, is going to see a lot more play. I've seen it in quite a few different deck lists already. Not necessarily just Dragon Link, but just deck lists in general. And Forbidden Droplet is just good to turn off monster effects on the field. And then we have our field spells being the Boot Sector and the Dragon Ravine. And then one Called By, one Foolish Burial. And then the Branded Regained, which is brand new to the deck, and the Branded Beast. So yeah, I'll quickly go over the two new cards. So Branded Regained, very simple. If a light or dark monster is banished, you can target one of those monsters, place that monster on the bottom of your deck, and if you do, draw a card. It's a continuous spell card, by the way. Also, once per turn, if your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can target one bestial monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So, yeah, the draw effect is really good. You can get one of your bestials back out. And then we have Branded Beast, which is a continuous trap card. So once per turn during the main phase, if you control a bestial monster, you contribute one dragon monster, then target one card your opponent controls, and destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one branded continuous spell or trap card in your graveyard, place it face up on your field. So basically what you can do is with Serenir, you can pitch branded regained into the grave, and then you can use Lobelion, bring it out, for, like if Lobelion's in your graveyard, you can bring it out and then you can place branded beast onto your spell or trap card zone. You can place it face up, you don't have to set it, it's really cool. And then at the end phase, if uh, Branded Regains in your graveyard, you can activate Beast and then you can place Branded Regained. But yeah, that's it for the main deck, it's 40 cards, let's move on to the extra. Alright, extra deck, there isn't a whole lot to talk about or explain, so I'll just go through everything. Striker Dragon, Pisty, for our Link 2s we have Romulus, the Heretic Seal, Quadboral. And then a card that's come back into the deck is Dillinger's. This is really good with Quadboral. Basically, you use Quadboral, you pop the Dillinger's, and then you can bring back your two rockets, and Dillinger's comes back. And then you can easily get into your Boral End. But we'll do the combo, like I said, probably in the next video. Then after that, we have the Dark and the IP. Moving on to the Link 3s, we have Unicorn and Triple Burst. The link four here is access code. You could play Appalooza, you could play even an Avramax if you wanted, but I felt like access code's just 
really good. I mean, he can help you win games, but the card that is going to help you win games the most is Boroland. But sometimes you don't have enough materials to get into your Boroland, so you go access code. And then the last three slots are the synchros. So we have the one Savage, and then the one Scarlight, and the one Barone. So I was playing the, um, the Atum, the level six Exceed Dragon that lets you... I think he just basically lets you reborn a monster. But I wasn't overlaying my level 6 bestials that often at all. That only came up a few times. And when it did, it didn't really do a whole lot. Um, so I decided to cut it. And time rules, as we all know, are awful. And they should be redone. Although that's a whole other discussion for another video. But I decided to throw in the Scarlight. He's a 3,000 attack monster. He can burn your opponent. He can destroy monsters uh, that are weaker than him. So, yeah, I decided to add in the Scarlight, and I've actually been liking him. I don't go into him all the time. Most of the time, it's Savage and or Barone. But, um, yeah, Scarlight's there, especially if you're going to be at a bigger event and you go into time. But, yeah, Barone, of course, a great level 10. Very easy to make, too, with just your Rocket Tracer and one of your level 6 Bestials. And that's it for the extra deck, really. I wouldn't change it as of right now at all. I think it's really good. And then, lastly, we have the side deck. I kind of put this together before the Ishizu stuff came out, so I probably have to update this. I really don't know what to even side at this point but we'll talk about it so the one kawaki meru draco i mean as long as you have a dragon in your hand you can keep this on the field neither player can special summon light or dark monsters so this card's awesome i mean it can shut out your opponent and then when you need to start going off you can just get rid of this so awesome card and then one pancratops i would like to maybe run some fenrirs but um they're very expensive for an ultra right now, so we have the the budget friendly version, the one Pankratops. He's still really good though. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of this card. And then, I do play the Gammas in here. Gamma is a great hand trap still. I've always loved it in Dragon Link, whether it's been main decked or side decked. I think it's definitely worth playing. Then for some back row removal, three Cosmic Cyclone. We play some floodgates of our own that being rivalry of warlords everything we play pretty much is dragons minus a few things in the extra deck and then three anti-spell fragrance so there you guys have it that is my bestial dragon link deck for the current november format let me know what you think i'm always open for suggestions especially if you're a fellow dragon link player and stay tuned for the next video, which will be combos and test hands, and we'll go more in-depth talking about the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for more videos coming in the near future, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, have a great day, peace out, and have a good one.